In this video, we're going to look at some decimal division. Okay, so we got three examples here right, to help us get comfortable with this stuff. Um, really not too bad, just uh, have to know how to get rid of the decimal, right? And that's what we're going to do, right? So what you do here is, all right, we see this ugly 0.012. We surely don't want to divide that. It's going to take forever, right? So what we have is you move it one, two, three spaces. I'm sure you can't read space there, but it's three spaces to the right, and then we get rid of that decimal point, we've got a 12 here. Okay, then we got to do the same thing to the other side, right? Three spaces, so there, and then two more, and that gives us 14,400. And if we divide that by 12, we get 1,200, right? And so that's how you do it. Uh, Right, you look at the one that has the more decimal places, right? Which is the one here on the right. Uh, three spaces to get rid of it, and you gotta do the same thing over here on the left side, and add zeros when you run out of space over here. Okay. Another one. Twenty-two. Point five divided by point oh one five. Okay, basically the same thing. You just got different numbers. Uh, three spaces, one, two, three, and then three spaces, right? One, and then we're gonna add two zeros. Okay, so what we're gonna have here is twenty-two thousand five hundred divided by 15, okay? Now you can just do your uh, basic division, right? And you're gonna end up with 1,500 for your final answer on that one. Okay, hopefully it's uh, seeming pretty clear. Let's do one more. Okay, so we have 80 divided by 0.04. Okay, so this one's a little different. Now we have one that doesn't have a decimal, right? But 80 and like 80.0 are the same, if that helps, right? So we're gonna move this two decimal places, right? So this is essentially where the decimal would be, like 80.0, two decimal places, right? So that means add two zeros to 80, which gives us 8,000. divided by four, and 8,000 divided by four equals 2,000. Okay, so that's the main point here, is we see the one, whichever has more spots to the right from the decimal point, go that many places, and you can get rid of that decimal, and then add it to the one on the left, that usually means adding some zeros, and that's all you gotta know.